women were experiencing a new sense of freedom and independence in the 1920s. Who were these women? How did they express this newfound freedom? Women had gained the right to vote in 1920 with the passage of the 19th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. This amendment seemed to usher in the new decade an era in which a new breed of liberated, modern woman became one of the most celebrated icons of the time. This new woman became known as a flapper. Flappers were young women who abandoned the traditional Victorian-era values of their parents and grandparents. The word flapper came from the United Kingdom. It was a slang term for an impetuous teenage girl. Flappers were known for a distinctive appearance and manner of dress. They cut their hair short, wearing a haircut known as a bobbed cut. They also wore straight, loose-fitting dresses with bare arms and low necklines. The dress length usually stopped just below the knee. At the time, such a short dress or skirt would have been considered risque. This allowed the young women to perform new dance steps, such as the Charleston or the shimmy. When dancing, the length of their dresses would allow for an occasional glimpse of the bare knees, which would have been scandalous just a decade before. Large amounts of jewelry also made up part of the flapper costume. Several layers of beaded necklaces, pins, rings, and brooches were also common. Flappers typically wore large amounts of makeup, including lipstick, eyeliner, and blush. Makeup became increasingly more common throughout the decade as manufacturers continued to make a wider variety of cosmetics. Stockings also went out of fashion, and many older women were shocked when they saw young flappers out in public with bare legs. However, being a flapper was more than just a choice of clothing and jewelry. It was a way of life. The flappers engaged in many different types of behavior that, at the time, were not deemed as ladylike. They rode bicycles, drove automobiles, listened to jazz music, smoked cigarettes, drank alcohol, and danced. There were many slang terms that became associated with the flapper culture. Terms such as the bee's knees, the cat's pajamas, and that's so Jake were all known to mean fantastic. The big cheese might be used to describe an important person, while broad, dame, or doll were all used to describe a woman. Not everyone was a fan of flappers. There were many people who were outspoken against them and felt that they were ruining the nation. Some critics felt that their style of dress was not only improper, but near nakedness. They were often criticized as being flippant, unintelligent, and reckless.